Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to be back and to be jumping into this week's video with you. I hope you are ready for a lot of everyday cleaning motivation because that is what this video is. It is starting off in the living room where we are plumping up the cushion pillows just partially for aesthetics, partially for, you know, cushion maintenance. Uh, we will be cleaning off the surfaces, going into the kitchen, putting away a lot of the child's toys that have filtered their way downstairs into the main living spaces. And then we'll also be going into the office and doing a bit of a clean up, declutter, dust and clean, vacuum flooring, and also finish off with a little bit of laundry motivation because that is an everyday or pretty much everyday requirement and I know it's one of those ones that needs constant attention and probably constant motivation to do uh, because it's not the most exciting activity to have to do when you are thinking about your daily tasks. So without further ado, let's jump straight into it. So one of the videos that will be coming up, remember to subscribe so you don't miss it, hit that bell button and thumbs up if you enjoy this video. But one of the videos that will be coming up shortly is a little bit of a living room mini refresh on a significant budget. So I'm going to be doing it on as much of a budget as I can, home shopping, um, that kind of thing. So make sure you're subscribed to see that video when it becomes available. I'm very excited to do it because it's something that I've been wanting to do in the living room for a very long time just to make it feel a bit more balanced but we'll go over all that in the video with the refresh. And then moving on to my surfaces, just putting away some of the toys and drawing activity stuff, items, textures, etc, etc. And then giving the surfaces a dust and a clean. So moving into the kitchen, uh, there was just a few things that came through, obviously a parcel there and a few other packagings and stuff from parcels that had to be pushed away and then tidy up the leftover breakfast dishes, wipe down the surfaces will be coming up as well and pushing away or returning the babies to their rightful place upstairs in the little one's room. She was playing the whole day previous to this. Um, mums basically it was one of her favorite games wandering around with their babies teaching them taking them places um anyone with little people i'm sure relate and understand and she'd set them up in the morning to have breakfast with them so once those are done and the chairs are wiped down from breakfast as well i'm just putting them up onto the kitchen counter so i can set off the robo vacuum to give the floors just a very quick um wipe a very quick sweep I guess for me is what we're doing and then wiping down the surfaces including the backsplash tiles and whilst I was wiping those down I noticed some food had actually gotten stuck onto the underneath of the cupboards as well as fingerprints and such on the doors so I started wiping those down and then figured out the easiest way to actually clean that down was to just spin around and contortion myself. <laughs> it's one of those spaces that because it's under eye level you can't forget that it's there but because I do use the pressure cooker on that bench um, and we have the kettle near it 
but the things do get stuck underneath there so I just had to give that one a clean down as well. If you have any low-lying, well not low-lying, high hung cabinetry that the base of it sits at or below eye level like those ones that I have, I would highly recommend just having a quick look underneath and see if there's anything stuck there that you may not see or realize. If there is, give it a quick clean, it'll feel so much better. So now we're moving into the office to give that a wipe down. My outfit is deceptive. It appears like this is actually another day because my outfit has changed. It's actually the same day in the afternoon after I got the, uh, the living room and the kitchen tidied up. I had a bit of a workout, got super gross and sweaty and sweated through that pink shirt and then was meant to be going to lunch with my mother. So I had a quick... Um, deodorant shower I guess uh, just wiped down all the sweat and quick spray down changed my shirt went out to lunch with my mother and then came back in the afternoon and moved straight into here to keep going so this is actually the same day which is why the leggings and the shoes are the same but the shirt has changed because, because I sweated through it um, I'm sure anyone who does that can relate when this happens to them <laughs>
So that is pretty much it for this week, guys. Thank you so much for coming along with me. I hope you've got some motivation from this video. Uh, remember to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. It doesn't cost you anything and it means you get to see these videos. Have an amazing week. Thank you so much for coming along with me. I cannot tell you how much I appreciate it when you view my content. And I'll see you next week for the next video. Bye, guys. Thank you.